Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now the end of January of 2023. We're getting very close to the release date of The Mandalorian Season 3 on March 1st. That's really going to deliver a lot of different dynamics that we have never seen before, as well as a lot of surprise cameos and story elements and twists and turns and all the like. That's really going to steer things in the right path by John, George, and Dave. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now that brings us to exactly what Lucasfilm and Disney have been up to and how it does really involve the future of the Star Wars franchise when it comes to the cinemas, when it comes to the theaters, just movies in general, and exactly what Bob Iger wants to do. Now, we've already talked about this, that Bob Iger wants to go back to making a lot of Star Wars movies and really kind of just focusing on the shows as a supplement or like a side thing here and there, and to really have the movies quality made and really resonating with the fans and how they can really find avenues to make all of that happen. Now, what's all the more exciting has a lot to do with how episodic films are happening again. We've already talked about how a 10 through 12 are in the early development phase of the Skywalker saga. They want to actually begin production, meaning, of course, a script by 2026 and getting that thing out later on in the decade. So that's the overall early plan right now. However, what Lucasfilm had to say about these plans, and specifically about the future of Star Wars films, especially when it comes to episodic films, really raises an eyebrow on exactly, you know, what's going on here over at Lucasfilm and Disney. So let's get right into this. Now, of course, with Disney CEO Bob Iger getting ready to make big announcements to the fans. However, it's described that as of now, Lucasfilm has been teasing their plans about the future of Star Wars for the fandom and where it could all go. It's described that in a recent interview that a Lucasfilm spokesperson gave, it was teased that they are working on something substantial for the franchise coming back to the cinemas. This is what the spokesperson had to say. What John and Dave are building is going to stretch out so much material for the coming years for us to explore. However, we are here we here at Lucasfilm and those at Disney have been having serious discussions on how we could bring Star Wars back to the cinemas while also finding ways we could expand the Skywalker saga again and bring back episodic films. We realize that the episodic films are an iconic piece of the franchise, and we are slowly finding story choices and decisions that would best fit the proper adaptations, from the notes that many creators have been creating for us involving the expansion of this beloved saga. So let me just stop right here for a second. Now, I do agree with one thing with Lucasfilm, is that the episodic films, that format, truly is an iconic piece of Star Wars. And for those of you that disagree, listen, that's fine and all, but you gotta remember that it's the iconic movies, the episodic movies in particular, that really stick with the fans. You know why? You have the opening segment where it says a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. You have the opening crawl. You have the Star Wars theme with the crawl. You have the pan down to either a planet or a Star Destroyer or a ship, whatever it may be. It's one of the most classic openings of a Star Wars, you know, film or just of a movie in pop culture. And I think that's the one thing that felt a little strange when it came to Rogue One and Solo, A Star Wars Story, is that it felt a little off in the beginning. I don't know about you guys, but the opening crawl truly makes the film feel very magical and special and just knowing it's an episodic film makes it very fun. Now we already know that yes, they are making an Old Republic trilogy, it's in also the early development phase. Are they going to use an opening crawl for that? Who knows? But when it comes to the episodic films, that's where it really came from. And anyways, moving on to the next thing here. So. We know that Kathleen Kennedy wanted nothing to do with movies anymore. She's the one that actually pulled the plug on it, believe it or not. Uh, she's the one that convinced Bob Iger that they had to take a hiatus on Star Wars movies because they felt that fans were getting tired of the movies. Where in reality, we weren't really getting tired, it's just that they weren't putting out things that were 
quality made or just all that, you know, connected to what fans enjoy. The Last Jedi kind of really rippled that. And I think it really led to a lot of fans backing away from Solo A Star Wars Story and going to go ahead and see that movie multiple times. You know, if you look at the repeat viewings between The Last Jedi, The Force Awakens, and compare it to Solo, it's drastically down. You know, it's nowhere near as close. And I think that the most successful Disney Star Wars movie is probably Rogue One. Like, the one Star Wars film that felt very driven and felt the most Star Wars-y in its classical, you know, nature, I guess, so to speak. But anyways, moving on to the next thing here. He goes on to say, The way that we marketed Episode 9 concluded that it was the end, but we are having serious conversations on how we can pick things up again with episodic film formats that will tell new tales of this family and bloodline. At the same time, we are also working on numerous other films and trilogy formats to kickstart a new slate of projects to return to the theaters properly for the fans. It's going to be very exciting to have the fans watch this unfold over the years. Separate from what the spokesperson teased, this all alludes to how episodes 10 through 12 are now in the works by Disney. So let's just kind of go over what we talked about before in the past, is that 10 through 12, we already talked about, there's a lot of notes that have been created by Favreau, Filoni, Lucas, Peyton Reed, and even other some creatives coming on board that are going to take part in creating this new episodic film lineup that's going to expand the saga. Now, at the end of the day, this is basically Disney's Hail Mary. This is what Bob Iger is doing. This is his Hail Mary. This is basically like his last chance to conclude the Skywalker saga forever properly in the theaters and then just call it a day. Now, basically, I think that's a good plan of theirs to end things at number 12. You know, if you go beyond that, it gets a little ridiculous, I will agree. But this really is, I think, going to be probably one of their best bets on getting some form of redemption as a company if they can properly make these movies that really resonate with the fans well. Now, I understand it's not going to really truly fix everything because they only had one shot, right? One shot to have a trilogy focusing on the older variants of Luke, Han, and Leia. And they failed completely. They never got those characters all together in one sitting. They never got to actually have those characters go on an adventure 30 plus years later. It just was such a missed opportunity that really comes across as the biggest failures in cinema history. At least I view it like that. So here you have 10 through 12, this big plan to expand the episodic films again. It really gives them one last shot to do things right. So anyways guys, drop a comment below, fill me in on what you guys have to say about all this below in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.